You are listening to the This Life Podcast with Dr. Drew Pinsky. And Emily Moore sitting across from me. That's right. We're doing it this time. So check it out. Thanks for listening. Hey, you live. And welcome, everybody. Emily Morris, as the intro says, right there. I'm thank right you for joining here. me. You're I gonna, love being here. I love having you. So thank you for doing this. So, Emily, uh, let's talk about your podcast. Okay. Sex, Sex with Emily yeah. is my podcast. And and I think, yeah, Sex with Emily, you can find it everywhere. And it's really a great place for people to go and ask all those sex and relationship questions that they have nowhere else to ask. It, and I'm very. It's amazing to me <laughs> that in this day of internet, when they can sort of find anything, they still need a person to help them walk through this. Well, stuff. you know, it's very like we take calls. It's yep. like Loveline. People yep. don't, I don't know who to talk to. And you, what can you trust online, really? And I got to help them break down all their specific, you know, examples, whatever's going on. What's in their the life. latest stuff? I think that, like, I, you know, it was a big year of anal uh, of, of again. <laughs> Seems like we had that was like ten years ago. It's so yeah, nineteen ninety five. I think people are more. No, it really is. Ten, I told you the last twenty years it was the biggest advancement. But I think people are really curious about modern relationships, how yeah. to navigate alternative relationships alternative right now. Relationships. Alternative relationships, modern relationships. It's not. It's the most powerful time right now. The best time to be single. There was a huge yeah. study yes. that came out. Really? I well, think that, that other voice you hear is my next guest. And let, let me do a little finally, more of an intro here. But I'm old. People are getting married. Fred Stoller, everybody. Oh, wait, what were you saying? They asked it is the about best anal? time what? to, well, you know, hey, we're on Facebook. You, we're not going to. Hang on. Let me, let me, let me talk. I'm interrupting. Susan's like, nope. Sex. Let me throw your stuff. to Dr. Drew. Go ahead. When I did uh, Love Line with Mike Catherwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, they go, we have a bet. Has Fred ever done anal sex? That's what I can't believe you and Mike were trying to figure that out. So, and I don't who, want to talk about who that. I don't remember who predicted what. You can see Fred uh, and no mentions of anal sex on Fred and Vinny, his uh, award winning documentary, really, right? Yeah, well, no, but it doesn't matter. What's a doc? It's, is it it's sort of based, docu- on a, based on a true story? Or, yes. Oh, you act, it's all acted. It's not it's not docu sort of stuff. It's sort of yeah. like that, but yeah. it's it's. The thing is, it's it's about me and a friend, and I didn't realize how pathetic I was till people describe it as a, a movie about two pathetic people. Oh. And I was you didn't playing realize? myself. Well, and I guess I, I got to, uh, I go all over the place with him. Like, it's weird because, like, I, I'm new to life with edibles, and I'll have, like, I'll go yeah. high, like, I'm going up an elevator to the. World Trade Center, whatever it would That's be now. That's Duncan Trussell's uh, sort of metaphor. Yeah, I'm going up, and then I come down and I see myself as this weird, lonely, middle-aged guy walking around. I really see myself to other people, and it's that bad part. When but you're I'll on edibles? Up. Yeah. Coming down I like, edibles. I like, Coming down. Well, I, so you I, just got to stay up? How do yeah, you prevent I was going to ask a stupid question. Why do you come down? Because you go up. <laughs> so then, I, I'm first in this thing. Um, I like this. I hate reality. This isn't reality. But then you come back to reality squared, thousand percent. Which isn't necessarily. Where I see myself like as it. the pathetic right, guy. So as be, you see me. because Sorry. also Fred's book is maybe we'll have you back. Please go check it out. You'll. Well, how I, do you get a signed copy? Well, now I'm actually selling them. Uh, I bought some remainders. If you go on a face my Twitter thing. I have, I guess, a link for my PayPal. Twenty dollars. I'll throw in Dumb and Dumber postcards. I was in Dumb and Dumber, which is a re- as recent as my work has been. No, and um, I'll sign it. And yeah, so that's my book. All right, and we have a special guest coming in after the break who's really going to coach you up. Good. Yes. And uh, also, our friends at Hydrolyte. We'll talk about them later. And our friends at Bergamot and Bergamot Femme. These are two products I stand behind firmly. Particularly Hydrolyte. Just I've had the flu this last couple of weeks, and I've been using Hydrolyte like crazy. I have a, I have a Hydrolyte problem. Like you use it every day, every single day. Yeah, like if so I don't does, have one, I freak out. So does I'm the like, producer. Yes, yes. good. That's, that's good. So, Fred, you contacted me. Yes, and he asked to be with you, Emily. Okay. I, I, I thought she was nurturing till she called me pathetic. No, no I'm just you, kidding. I was just asking. I am being yeah, silly. I love you. Actually, here, actually, I go all over the place. Drew made a joke on his podcast, and Norm Macdonald didn't like it. But let's not go there. Okay. What? Remember you said, speaking of being uh, delusional and nervy, how's it working with Norm? And he reached out on Twitter. Oh, I was just being How funny. dare you diagnose I, me? I You're love, being a comedian. I, I love Norm. Yeah. I so love Norm. I, 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 I and I came jokes. to see you and him at the Ice House. Yes. And it was one of my more fun experiences at oh, a comedy thank club. You, so, thank you. No, Norm is a genius. Yes, I know. I reached yeah. out to you. No, 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 no. And, I, and I, I, Emily, on. yes, for your very nurturing. No, I'm serious. And, and And um, long story short, which it won't be, um, <laughs> I've never done online dating. I've hardly done dating. And I'm I'm thinking of it only because um, I think I've kind of given up on a lot of things. I'm confused because I don't know. Why do you contact me? 
What was I don't thinking? know how to do it. I don't know what I want. So I, I want don't to start know. dating again. I don't Bottom know line. if I do. Now I'm confused. Oh. Because, okay. but, but, Emily, this is what I think. In a perfect world, which is this is not, you would think someone, someone either gets me or not, either to a very small minority of women, um, Johnny Depp, I wouldn't go that far, this many, or I'm Hinkley mm-hmm. to most all the others. You know, so there's no middle ground. So either, I hate trying to explain Hinkley's, myself. Hinkley's sort of a modern right. reference. Oh, yeah, you don't yeah, know, you know who Hinkley is? You shot Reagan. Yes, I do know shot Reagan. I was actually around then. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's how old I am as a comedian. I used to do Hinkley junks. <laughs> like, oh, I, I mailed a letter to my pen pal last week, Jody Foster. That was, that was one of my jokes. And, uh, I don't update. So, yes. so Fred Dating, is an, a comedic actor. He's a successful comedian and stand up. And he's he's middle aged. He's been very insecure much of his life. Uh, his mom, <laughs> Pearl, who you could see at the Dr. Drew podcast, it's sort of behind a paywall, but she and I. Had several interviews, discussions. Now together. she doesn't like you. Now she thinks I'm. I, I don't know what she thinks, but but she I love hates Pearl. True, yes. She, I don't, she hates me. She well, just, she doesn't trust you. Yeah, she feels as though I was trying to do something, and I was just t- chatting with her and got, about Fred. Really. Anyway, she she was a major figure in his life and was oh, not what you call um, nurturing. Encur- nurturing, encouraging. Which is why he's oh, she never to me. she never hugged me or said I love you, but I don't want to. I don't want to. We're dwell. not going to create another. Well, you've victim. forgiven her, right? And you've moved on. Yeah. From well, that. this she is did the d- best she could. With yes. Her upper, with well, the people features. don't understand. And just because you forgive someone, and I've I've no grudges, it's still stressful talking to her. Just her voice, I cringe. It's even when she's not being negative. It, you know, what I mean, I, I, I get it. It's a trigger. Sort of just, well, let's, we'll, we'll give, an, we'll, let's go we'll give an example. Give okay. an example. Like when Fred, we had it on your pod, and we were talking about you date or psychic. One of the <laughs> Susan psychics was saying that you were going to get a find mm-hmm. true love, and what did Pearl say? No, it's never going to happen. No one wants Freddie. This she makes goes, a lot of sense. Though. Yes, yes, yes. I think you need to block your mom on Facebook. Yep. Like you were well, saying, she doesn't she was, text. Like, you said I, you were afraid to look at. She was going to see something on Facebook. Well, I have people. You've had therapy, right, Fred? Yes, yes, and no. Meaning, I've had it, but like this twice? is a whole new discussion, a whole other thing. I really, we've had this before. I think. Don't look at your coach, he's coming later. Okay. I, I once made a joke to my friend. I said, therapy's okay if you've been molested, you touch little boys, you accidentally shot your brother. And he goes, I had all three. But I think. Is that, ther- the, coach, is that the coach I'm bringing in later? <laughs> no, someone else said. That. I think therapy talking is good. You know, you're traumatized in the war or it's like acting. Hey, mother issues, major. Yes. But if you, if I've gone through that where it is what it is. I'm okay. never going to be what happy about, talking to her. Thing. What about um, just having somebody in your corner to be a supportive emotional presence while you navigate these things like this? I think for me, I, I, I don't, I'm much better at trusting my feelings. I used to save it for the session. And a lot, most of them are out of their fucking mind. Um, you hear stories that then they're they're going, let's do a comedy team together. Oh, or no, I've no, had no. the most inappropriate no, shrinks no. and trying to set me up on blind dates and of, asking to read spec scripts too. and wanting to be a helicopter traffic reporter, one of them. So, yeah, so they're nuts. But, um, but that being said... The issue, and this relates to dating, yes. is I've struggled my whole life trusting my feelings. Like, is it okay if I'm not attracted to someone? Is it okay I don't like stand up? Is this guy an asshole? And I would go on dates with women, and I have great gut feelings. Mm-hmm. I think I think I, I thought of it like an idea for a movie where I'm a great psychic, but I have no confidence. <laughs> like, I, I have psychic ability, but I go, nah, nah. <laughs> you know, so I have gut feelings about people, but I... I would tape phone calls with my mother and play it, wanting validation. Do you see why I'm screwed up? Isn't she off? And she, my joke was she was like Mr. Like Mr. Ed would only talk for Wilbur and then it looks like I'm exaggerating. So I used to like – so that's why I don't like therapy. Right. Is it okay I feel this? Um, is this guy a jerk? Is it okay if I'm friends with well, someone? I, I, I would, think you just got to trust your own that, – That's what I'm I know, dealing with. I know with. that you know He's this. He's got to be the trusting psychic. It's the – yeah, you got to be <laughs> trusting yourself but first. I'm, but I'm saying I, I do that better without having the mentors anymore. All right, the all right, we, I get it. Okay, fine. Let's talk, about, let's talk about Emily dating. To, but you want Emily to help you. Well, no, still. dating is a whole new thing. Okay, right. I'm here for you. Talk let, to let, me. Before you do, let me just say, I've noticed, I'm, we haven't really been around each other in a while, a year or something yeah, like that. Uh, Your mood is much better. Uh, thank you. It's the so, pot, well, edibles. the positive things. Well, I think ed- yes, edibles. It's fu- I'm in my later fifties, and late in life, I discovered edibles. Thank you. Uh-huh. And 
I really, I thought drugs were like, hey, hey, robo chicken, you know, like stoners. I, it really opens your mind, and I have these. Do, do not disparage robots. my friend Seth Green, <laughs> robot <Okay>. chickens. <laughs> whatever, but that's, that's what I thought pot was. Hey, I watched a doobie, and you right. know, whatever. So I really have these enlightenments where, hey, you know, these things I, and I meditate, so you have a realization you can't articulate you know, that all this stuff about, hey, I had one that even the annoying people in my life, I created them. It's like a, You did. Uh, yes. See, that's even reality. You create your entire reality exactly. in your head. So Every, I all of our it. It's all in our head. So if you can realize that that voice in your head that's not trusting you is you talking to you. Absolutely. And you get to choose the side. Absolutely. Every day, so new possibility. I've come to Trust a lot more thoughts. positive realizations that even the annoying people, they sort of amuse me. It's like funny. Like when I had that restraining order because of Dr. Drew. <laughs> well, uh, and not because of you. Fred and I have been. There's so much to unpack here already. I know. Woven, this, this guy. There was a guy obsessed banging my talk because he wanted to go on Dr. Drew with me. I shouldn't talk I, about I don't know this. how the guy got my head in, my name in his head, but he would literally, because he, he would video this, this guy. T- trying to beat your door because down. When we, and he leave notes. When are we going to do Pinsky? Yeah. And I need to tell the world was about Was this real your or was this when you were on podcast? No, no, this habit. was okay, for real. You, you know that. something? I am glad I didn't do an edible <laughs> when this guy would bang on my door, kicking it, screaming, when are we going to do Pinsky? He was a guy that he, Fred wrote about in, I didn't his, use his name. in his Seinfeld book. Oh, okay. And now he insists that Fred is my Seinfeld year. Is that the one that you yeah. wrote about? And uh, and this guy insists that uh, Fred ruins it, ruined his life, even so, though he wasn't even mentioned in it. No. So basically – so no, I treated that as almost like I'm in a curvy enthusiasm and this is like a thing I have to it go to It was like a curb episode. Yeah. And, so, and you did you did go to court. Yes. I got a two-year restraining order. So now, you know, I'm not I, I religious. Wait, to re- repeat what the guy said in court and what the judge said. Just too much. But that one, that one moment, the judge goes – What's with this podcast or something? Remember the judge asked him. Oh, it's just a book. <laughs> I, I, I like, what's a podcast? Yeah, I, t- t- I can't remember. The best was at the end, she yeah, goes, you're yeah. a writer, write. Just write. Stop with this. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> so you were the, the other guy. But, but the thing is. T- Okay, yeah, I let's talk about dating. dating. Okay, I'm just okay, to, okay. I, believe it, I'm, try, I'm the one trying to I focus. I know. I get to ring me in. I'm annoying. You make me feel like the I'm most annoying. focused I've ever been on the planet. No, you're so not annoying. I just want to help you here. No, break okay, through. okay, okay. I want okay. a breakthrough for you. Okay, so basically, I've always been insanely, insanely adverse to online dating for many, many reasons. The bit, I had an anxiety attack explaining to someone why dating gives me anxiety. On the Uber here, the Uber driver was, I felt like I was on a date going, why don't you work? I go, well, I'm older. It's slow. Oh, you should. Do you hand out pictures? Do you do this? And so in a, I, my, I'm happiest when I don't try to be got. Like my new friends here, she doesn't want to be seen. Um, we just click because we have insane mothers and, and, and stuff. So yeah, I, she your other, She's your other friend's girlfriend. Right. Well, no, I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You felt safe. No, I'm having. But I'm saying I hate. Either on a date, either my head's down and, and I, I don't feel like explaining myself or I'm talking too much like this, meaning I like you guys. So I hate – they're like auditions and I hate – I don't – I've had dates. Okay, the last few dates I had, they go – they judge me like, how come you've never been married? And they listen to me on podcasts. Two of them admitted they're trying to figure out what's wrong with me. And How are you? Because you lead with that. I lead with that. You lead with what? That's what you talk about is what's wrong with you. No, no, no. Well, and people ask me every day, "Why are you married? Are you having kids?" Like that's no, no, what happens. No, no. All right, my last, and you're I had hearing a, it that way. I had a blind date a few months ago, mm-hmm. so the woman did her re- reconnaissance, going, "Has he been married? No. Has he been a long relationship? I don't think so." So right away she goes, "Mecca me." I'm, I'm making up her name. Uh, Mecca me <laughs> said, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. We'll never Mecca, know that Mecca me said, "Do you this and." Or they hear me on podcasts and they, they, yes, they see, they do research, you know, you've never been married. So, no, they've but asked it's perfect. me that. You could, say, but you're you, not. You, you, you could say something very positive, like, you know what? I was very depressed and I was very, uh, and now I've had enlightenment and I've you know, insight I and, I'm, and I'm now ready to rock. Yeah. I'm ready yes. to do you got to practice that. Also, I'm yes. not sure if I, I don't mean ready to rock. I'm not sure. Maybe I am happy now. Maybe <laughs> you're happier. I'll tell you that. Yes. No. Maybe I don't want to. Like I've tried dating a woman, and she's an actress, and I she's pretty, but she's in these one woman shows, these plays where they rub asses against each other. I don't know what they're talking. You're just as doing. judgmental of all these women as you are of yourself. Well, I don't or want to see bad yeah, plays. They are of you. But they're not. Oh. But they're not. 
What? They're bad plays, and you have to pretend it was good. Like, Emily, they're not, but they're, huh? Okay, <laughs> they're in bed, right. I feel like you got to just look at this. You should go, dating online is like, if you if you actually want to meet someone, maybe you'll meet a really good friend. That's what happens. I've met a yeah. lot of good friends. Okay, though. okay, here Truly. are my concerns. Not a lot, but a few. I'm not, I'm not a celebrity, but I had a blind date with a woman talking about a boyfriend. I go, wait, wait, wait. She goes, oh, I, th- I want to meet you for the contacts. I hear Raymond wants female writers, and you oh, know so-and-so. No. Or they'll tell me, you know who's on the date? Uh, Chris Rowley's brother I'm not making that up or something like the guy who was in Groundhog Day so now like I'm in a novelty and I've had the shame issue I have to admit and I don't know how to write a profile selling myself and you could pay people to do that okay I'll help you you don't have to pay me and and I want I I don't want to be in a relationship for the sake of it. It's not like I'm looking for real estate. I, think I we want... should write his profile right yeah, now. Someone wrote me a good too. one. Someone wrote me a good one. Oh, oh you already have one. See, you've but I haven't used excuse- it. You're putting up so many excuses. Emily, I have. See if it's good. Okay. My anxiety is off the charts, believe it or not. So really? I, That's yes. hard to believe. Even though I'm happier, but on a date... I'm happy when I'm not trying to explain myself, when I'm not trying to be got, when I'm not trying to go, oh, look how this yeah, I so am. Yeah, so just have a fun and have fun and have, meet a friend. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you got to switch this, like, this is the one, I'm looking for a girl. What site should you use? looking to have a great conversation. Okay, here's another problem I have. Bumble. Bumble. Yeah, Bumble. Tell me how to do this. Yes. Tell me how to do this. Yeah. Don't look at me when you ask okay. that. Okay, I feel guilty if I'm on a date... And I'm not attracted to the woman because I have negative friends. Oh, you're going to be 60. Take who you can get. You know, and I feel because, yeah, then you'll go, what about you, Fred? You're skinny. The way you said, what about you at place? But you know what? You, when you're not attracted to somebody, you're not attracted to somebody. Yeah. I know, but trusting my feelings. So I'd go out again trying to, you know, friends will come on. Or so what? She's in a one woman show where she spits at the audience. It's passion. You know, she's expressing herself. Right. So I'm, I, this is, sounds like a curb your enthusiasm bit where, it's true. I, I tried going out with a woman, and she had a lot of facial hair, not a beard. But you could see in the light, like, a lot of orange and, and sideburns. Sam, I am. Mm-hmm. You know, I guess. It's like, so, like a Dr. Seuss character. I so didn't trust my feelings that I brought around the friend to go, do you saw her too? And he said, yeah. So I, I, I didn't trust my eyesight. <laughs> That's OCD. And so, yeah, so I feel, what do you do, Emily, when if you have a date and you're not attracted and you, what do you go next? Yeah, you, know? you just go out for a drink, or you go out for coffee. But but they go, okay, this is good, and, and you're like, yeah, I, this was this was good. I I don't feel like there's a connection in this way. That's but hard thanks. for me to do. Yeah, but you I used to lie, it. say I'm going to do a skiing movie in Canada. For just three be honest, say yeah, I didn't really feel a love a, a romantic connection, but this was That's great. So hard. Do you have to do, do that. The end of these these these. If she says feelings. I wanted, I want to see you again. Say you know what, I wasn't feeling a connection in that way. <sighs> what if you couldn't you just say that? I could tell it's hard for him. Couldn't you do something like? You know what? I'm just kind of I'm doing this whole day thing looking for friends. This has been really fun, but yeah. I'm not really gonna. Okay, you could you know. say that too. That's yeah. why I have five thousand just Facebook practice racist Facebook friends. I don't know because I can't say no. Oh, they're all ridiculous. Yeah, I, I'm trying to unfriend a lot of them. It's, but, it's not that hard. You just. Eh. I know. I feel guilty defriending people. I feel guilty saying no. You're like that too, and yes, you got you get talked into podcasts and sizzle reels <laughs> and stuff you don't want to do. Yeah, I've heard I, I, I'm I know getting too. much better. Yeah, so it's trusting my feelings. That's why I feel I'm ready. I'm positive. I'm having new younger friends. All my friends have given up. And right, you've asked Emily to solve yes. your problem. Okay, so. one last thing, then I'll shut up. Okay. No. I have no. this fantasy. Yes. I have this fantasy that maybe what I should be with a woman is when I'm in my later 60s, 70s, when it's just about companionship. They're not going. Why don't you try to work more day and get more work? We'll have another excuse then. You have so many excuses. Okay. You have, you're putting everything off till tomorrow, till 10 years from now. And then you're putting so much weight on yourself. And, I and think, it's, dating is a muscle. And if you don't use it, for, it's really hard to get back out there again and start dating when you haven't you know, done it. So why don't you just take the pressure off? I'm having coffee. I'm having a drink. It's an hour of isn't my there, life. Isn't there even an app that's sort of, it's just coffee or something? Yeah, or it's, it's just, just a drink? Lunch. Or it's just, just lunch. shoving matches? No, it's just lunch. It's just lunch. Do, do that you one. You know, when lunch. I come down yeah, from the edible, the all are I realize I have bad, bad, bad stuff with loss. I'm now, I've got new good friends. I, I think I think loss, I got hurt real. I was last in love in like 1990. I've had, I've had stuff, but love where I thought we were going to get married, have kids. 
Um, so I think I'm really suck at loss. Can you change? Can at you? Loss. Can I change and can, get, no, go no, to a no, gym? No, no, no. You're not. No, you're never okay. going to change. Okay. But what? I, what I would mm. ask you to do is to to when you have these thoughts to just kind of say, well, what's possible? This isn't really my thought, and yes. and to change, switch it in the moment. Like I'm sure people have told you this before, <laughs> and you do meditation, yes. so you can. That's I'm so you're better. controlling your thoughts. I'm getting better. So you better. can say, I've decided to date, and it's actually non-negotiable. Like you, you're not allowed to change that decision that you've made to date online. I'm gonna do it. You talk me. I have one last crush. Maybe these guys will help me later. So I know I. But I did try that crush. I I've what? tried a few crushes. I've tried and. I don't and think so, I would do that right now. You, what? Need, you don't go just after meet a crush without just the meet pressure. Friends. How about like there's no pressure? Friends, this, yeah. yeah, just okay. Just, and even how great if you're not attracted to him because practice. It's like you should take yeah. every job. You want to hear what Jackie wrote for my uh, my yes. profile? Okay. Jackie? Who's Jackie? Jackie is my lesbian friend who's the coolest woman in the world. We go out together. Okay. And she says, uh, hey, maybe me or you for that girl. Maybe we could both get her. Okay. She's the coolest, right, coolest so woman. Okay. okay, this is what Jackie suggested I should write. But I don't think profiles are this long, but I'll read it. <clears throat> Hi, I am Fred. That's it. No. Um, <laughs> I know you're going to say this isn't true, but I am really content and happy with my life and would love someone fun to enjoy the little and big things with. If you are looking to check off boxes of things you want, like house, kids, marriage, I am not your guy. Not that those things are out of the question. It is just they don't interest me. What interests me is laughing every day. I don't know why people take life so seriously. It is not meant to be. It's meant to be joyful and fun. I am happy where I am in life and learning more about life every day. I am a person of a I am a one of a kind eccentric person who loves spontaneity and not conformity. I love time alone to create and time to come together to play. I don't have a plan and don't want one. I am looking to meet one amazing person or several new friends. I cannot wait to bring the special guest in to You've coach you. Got to- I cannot wait. <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. You've you got to cut out the whole, I don't want this, I don't want that, no kids, no house, I got nothing, and then I want to hang out and play with you. I would cut out that whole part. Yeah. But that being said... Mm-hmm. Why are they so long? Are they supposed to be long? Like no, that? it's a little I gotta, It's a little redundant, too. But I like the part about, like, you're quirky or what did you say? Eccentric. Uh, of, yeah, yeah. I, I, not, I do, though, want someone really, really, really special. And maybe I have an illusion of that. And and not to be with someone just for the sake of it. I know. What does I know. That even mean? How about you just with someone because you like them and you take all this pressure? You have so yeah. much pressure on yourself. What if you want just, your cat. I have two cats, yes. I know. I think that's who you want to be in a relationship exactly. yes. with. Well, you just nap all day. <laughs> yes, and you nap and they don't judge you for napping. Um, yeah, and I, 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 I know women who are married to gay guys. They're so gay, but they want to be married. I go, she just wanted to be married. This guy's so gay. I, I got sued for saying not that there's anything wrong with it. That's another thing. Oh, man, this is live. So the other guy, he's going to pound on my door again. Not everyone's um, listening to all your stuff right now. But, cool. but yeah. um, uh, what was what was I saying? I think you got to pick a track. Just post it. We'll edit some of that. Okay, you'll help And me. I'll show you how you had the wrong you had the wrong dating. And what does he do? Does he start just So I went on Bumble, and it's only 32-year-olds. I know no, you got to do the that. range. you got to do the range, looking for a woman between And then does he just start saying, oh, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm going to go do this? Yeah. You literally, and, every day you check it. Now, the women, you'll get matched with people, and the women who you match with, It'll show that you match, but they have to send the first message, and they have twenty. That's what I want. I want someone to come to me first. That's that's Bumble. That's Bumble. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then you write them back and have your friend. Now, since I'm fifty nine, now do I put? What's a you're reasonable for 20, age? Yeah, you're looking for twenty to no, twenty-eight. I'm, I'm, I'm not psychotically. Put forty to sixty. I don't know. You tell okay. me. Yeah, forty yeah. to sixty. They're probably maybe not looking for marriage, family. Like yeah. I don't know. You, you see, if someone, I do know. See, the problem also is if I describe myself, my age, people may not put like a guy like me in their profile in their wish list. But if they bumped into me, they may go, "This guy's quirky. Well, he doesn't act." To be 60. fair, I think enough people would recognize you from television. Yeah, that there'd be sort of a little intrigue just from that. And they would do hey, the research, LA. and they 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 yeah. hear things about yeah. on Doctor Drew when yeah. I made pishy on the floor. No, I'm just making things up. <laughs> no, but they could find. I'm just. Being you are have so many obstacles that you put up. Boom, boom. But all these, you want to do it, and then there's a million. Reasons I, you know, why. I want. Oh, I want to wait till yeah. he actually wants to get physical with one of these women. Oh. Then you're going to have a whole God, like, couple well, hour already, podcast. Right. Hey. I've already heard oh, some of right. the stories. He was not. We just released your. We released your podcast on my show. I was listening to it with the Kathy Griffin story. Which oh, was a good and one. she punched you in the, face. punched in the face. There's a woman yeah. I, I I was messing around Are with, we but to she talk about that? Yeah. she has two. 
sons and one beats the other son up and she gets in the middle and we went out and she had black eyes and people Uh-oh. thought I beat her up. Uh-oh. Remember, we, remember we, I won't name her name, remember we called her and because yes. she she oh, had paranoia yes. that, yes, yes, that yes. it was because of her Trump won. Oh, yeah. So I try. Yeah. You said I, don't was, rescue them, though. You were trying to rescue that one. I was trying to don't get it all have that. nudity. All right, That's yeah. another problem I have. If someone is attractive and they make it sort of like they'd have sex with me, it would be hard to turn it down. But I'm okay. not Aziz Azario. I don't push. Well, don't when you do turn down, don't rock like that. Right. It, looks little, yeah. it looks a little creepy. I can't turn it down. I want to turn it down. I can't turn like it down. I like Rain Man. Yeah. People probably tell you just to kind of take a few, do your meditation or take a few deep breaths before you approach these women and just have fun with it. Yeah. It's a coffee. It's a thing. What else are you doing? It's imp- and here's you the mean thing in the day to meditate? And, and by the way, you hang out, he hangs, hangs out at the Farmer's Market. It's kind of a cool place to meet yeah. people, have coffee and, you know, lunch. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, just I'll make, make them just, there. Yeah, it's, it's home turf for you, too. You're very comfortable there. You're sort of the mayor of that little, that is true. That little area. You're the Fred's the mayor, right? You didn't have them wait at another table on a line. <laughs> I, th- I think with online, it's almost an illusion because we see these shows. I don't watch them like The Bachelor or Flavor Flav. So I have this illusion. I'm the guy going to pick. Oh, next. Who's next? So I think the no problem illusion. with internet is we. it's like shopping at Ikea. We have this illusion that what else is down there? Like in the old days in Baltimore, you meet whoever wants you. You. You don't I just go, want you to find one. Okay. All right. I feel, I'm feeling stuff. positive, but you, you're going to have to – I will help you. You're going to have Swipe to it, set it, it up for Stick with it. Yeah. All right. Okay. What I want to do is take a little break and then I want to bring in the special okay. guest who – He can special, give me a pep talk. He's going to give you a pep talk. He, there's a lot of excitement about him uh, suiting up and being here for you. Uh, do okay. you want to you, – you know each other, yes? We're, we're, we're new friends and it's that kind of friendship where you feel like you've known each other longer than you have. In the mic. Right? I can't hear you. Right. It's one of those things I'd like with a woman where you feel you've known each other longer than you have. But instead of a woman, nice in this case... Well, both. It's a couple, but I'm friends with both case, of them. In this case, it's a clown. Don't you you'll, gave away the punchline. No, no punchline. You'll understand. It, you it, gave it, don't, away don't the worry. funny surprise. No, don't worry. Right. There's plenty of people who, on, <laughs> online. I'm noticing that people are quite excited. To, okay. That this All right. This You're guest. the producer. No, I'm not. The producer <laughs> ran out for some reason. I don't know where she went, but she is not here any longer. But uh, I will tell you that- um, He's going to give me a pep talk. Give you a pep talk. Okay. And, and we don't know where that's going to go. All right. You know what I mean? Are you, Someone's you, got to get through. I'm so, ready. Emily gave me tough love. I'm ready for tough love. I'm right. ready to take it. All right, we'll take a break. Right all right. Well, we're so pleased to have Hydrolyte back. Hydrolyte is something that we and my family use just about every day, and it is simply the best oral rehydration product I have ever seen. And there are many reasons you should keep some around. I got the flu. I relied on Hydrolyte because I knew it would rehydrate me the way an IV fluid would. We all have heard about the flus and the diarrheas, and they all knock you out. Staying well hydrated is critical to getting over these conditions. Even if you manage to avoid getting infected, your schedule is half as busy as mine. Getting eight glasses of water a day isn't likely to happen. And you don't need it if you've got the proper hydration product, Hydrolyte. That is the beauty. Whether you're sick or not, you can absolutely benefit from proper balance of sodium, glucose, and water. Hydrolyte does this better than a sports drink or water alone. That's right, better. It comes in great flavors like orange, berry, lemonade. It's available in a pre-mixed powder. Of my personal preference, the little effervescent tablets you can simply drop in a bottle of water or a glass of water, and you're done. You got it, and you are rehydrated. And compared to sports drinks, Hydrolyte delivers up to four times the electrolytes with 75% less sugar. I know. Don't buy into the hype of the brands. Use Hydrolyte. It's a better product. I'm telling you, I had intended to invent it. They got there first, so I'm all behind them. Hydrolyte solutions are appropriate for all ages, and each bottle or package includes easy-to-follow dosing instructions. Order Hydrolyte today, hydrolyte.com slash drdrew. That is hydrolyte.com slash drdrew. And for a limited time, our listeners can save 30% on Hydrolyte. We actually buy in bulk in our family, so we're going to click through. Believe me, just click the banner on my site and use the code drdrew18. That is drdrew18. And we are back. Uh, Emily? Hmm. Maybe you should introduce our special guest. Should I put it on Facebook Live? Yes, well, everybody put it on Facebook right. Live because there's a lot of excitement about our next guest who's suited up just for the occasion, Yucko the Clown. Hey, hey. hey there we are. How we doing? Yucko, I'm doing great. Uh, got any notes for Fred? Uh, where do I start? I Let's know, see. right? Well, number one, this guy, I just met him uh, uh, recently. I thought he was dead, honestly, and, and, and looking at him, the jury's still out on that shit. <laughs> Look at this guy. No, Drew, the problem is he's got to fix up 
a lot of things in his life. Like, yes. Like you mentioned the cat. Yes. He's got cats. He's like a crazy cat lady. He is. He just never leaves the place. His Tinder profile should say, skinny Jew who smells like cat piss. Honestly. <laughs> just, you got to get rid of that. That's the only okay, that's you good. got in that apartment. So take notes, Fred. You're just like skinny yeah. Jew. Who smells who like, like cat. You're, I'm, 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 I'm a better this. writer than that lesbian of yours. <laughs> when you dress like a lesbian, by the way, Fred. That's another like thing you got to work on. Oh. How about this outfit for dating? What do you think? Look, no, no, look at that. I, I thought I had an ugly clown suit. Look at this guy. <laughs> Just, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> does that come with a dick in your mouth or what? Where, where'd you get that? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, the only ST you're going to catch at this point is feline AIDS, okay? <laughs> get rid of the freaking cats. All right. Get your shit together, all right? All right. Hey, Yoko, Yoko, I I haven't seen you on Stern in recent months. What happened? Well, um, you know, that's the thing. Um, I'm taking a little hiatus. The the social media is very excited that you've shown up here. They're they're very excited to see you. Yeah, well, I'm kind of a big deal. You're a big deal. Yeah, I am. And uh, no. uh, No, I've just been uh, taking a little break. I'm working on some stuff in the background. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully were, get back were on you, the, Was the New York Jewish your home says. before? On the what? On the Jewish show before. You know, <laughs> was New York your home before? Is that you're out here now? Doing yeah, stuff? Coney Island. Coney yeah. Island, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Do you miss it? Sheepshead. Well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sheepshead Bay? Yeah, yeah. I'm from Sheepshead Bay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm from Coney up. Island. Yeah. Sheepshead Bay, you know. Yeah, that's What's where that? there's too many Russians now. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Fred. Ask, ask. Maybe you ask your Still coach some questions. Wait, I'm trying to get on Facebook oh, Live. This is such good podcasting. <laughs> oh yeah, this, 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 all this, you guys with your this, faces this, and your phones. You phone. know you've made it. I know. Um, so how long is the profile? You're going to need to go in rehab after this uh, show. Oh, I, right? I, I, I'm going to hibernation. <laughs> what do you think of Emily, the sex therapist? Would you take sex advice from her? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd take anything from her. I'd take <laughs> anal from her. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> is that hydro? Is that Hydra, yeah. Oh, I thought that was Astroglide. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Emily's got no. uh, all you kinds got of that? equipment. You got some of that in your purse? All now, right, great. Yucko, can I ask you, um, you uh, should uh, have problems with different ethnicities dating? Because I know you have problems with different ethnic groups. You do? But, no, you know, I think like, you should date within your own, you know, you should date someone not a skinny Jew like you, all right? right. <laughs> because you're just going to, you're just going to, if you get start to get wet, you're going to hydroplane off each other, <laughs> all right? You greasy little Jew boy. <laughs> and, and so you can only date clowns. Yeah, yeah. That's right. exactly right. Yeah. That makes sense. What's a Jewish clown? Do you have a joke for that? A Jewish clown? Yeah. He's a uh, whole one. Yeah, look, look at you. <laughs> All you need is some grease paint with that ugly freaking shirt of yours. You need two of those, one so, to shit in and one to cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yucko, we, we have one sort of sort of key piece of, of advice you're giving him, which is change the get, suit up differently. Suit up differently. Get rid of get the cats. Get rid of the cats. Yeah, we're get rid them. of them. Put them down. Why? It's because it's like I'm a pussy because I have cats? Yeah, but and it smells like crap. You know, I went over there. I had to hold my nose. It's like it smells like ammonia and 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 loneliness. <laughs> That's what it you know, smells like. It's pathetic. <laughs> Grow up. Get rid of the cats. Just you know, just make a tennis racket out of them. What, I don't what, give a what shit. do you think about what do you think about him meeting women at the farmers market there, where he holds court every day? That's Is that all yeah, right. Yeah, but you gotta quit moping around. You know, you gotta. You're, you're like that nose is going to dig into the ground. You're, you're, he blames and, his mom for a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, stop blaming that bitch. All right. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta. What was your mom like? Was she a clown? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I um no. In seriousness, I tried yoga because for my posture, so I'm not mopey. So <laughs> I no, I want to try yoga. But what happened was, um, I bought the mat and then. There were just two people and it was the hot yoga and I only had a small water and I kept resting. And, and then they go – and she had a Russian accent da, 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 and I kept looking and it looked like I was gawking and I, I didn't know the moves. We supposed to, wow. What are we supposed What's to that? say? <laughs> we're supposed wow. to feel bad for I just, you? I, just, I don't know, but I'm why trying. Why don't you keep going back? But for posture, would that help for posture, Emily? Yeah, it might help for posture. Keep going back, Fred. You, know. you, gotta, you can't give up. This is something I'm seeing about you. Give up so easy. <laughs> Like you gave up right now on me, Yucko. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yucko, you <laughs> you're hopeless. <laughs> I, I tried, all right? You depleted somebody, Fred, who has yeah, boundless he's already energy. Deplete, yeah, but, but he's already depleted, though. No, you're depleting Fred. Can we give him something? Anything good we can give him here? I need I, positive I, stuff. You know, I, gotta, I, got, I, got, I could roast you. Oh. Okay. Hey, what are you, a twister board? 
Let a woman play Twister on you? That's not bad. Yeah, that is Did really bad. Did we that? didn't understand it. Do you I know, know what Twister board. Do you know what Twister oh, is? Oh, I see he's got the dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got the polka dots. I yeah. see it. Yes. Sorry. That's a good one. one. Yeah. Yes. That's a good one. Hey. I wonder if Cassius hung himself back home. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you, you That's probably hate. a good thing, though. Do you, Emily, do you have any pets? I don't. No. So... So, See, I'm nurturing him. I'm nurturing a, to the world, but not to So, maybe is there any kind of. A is there a turn off to women that, that a guy has two cats? I, I, I think that it's more of a. Women have more of the cat stigma than men. So, but I think, think about men, it. You're like, oh, if you, have a, if you, if you take care of an animal, sometimes women feel like that's yeah. so your ability to take care of a person. You know, sort of yeah, be what empathic do you think of that? a person, be caring. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, not your cats. All right, your cats are like mangy. They're like, they're like ripping up all the furniture. He never saw like he'll, he'll no, he'll do he'll do a he video. Never was in my I place. saw him on video. You do oh, those right. videos, and yes. the cats have like ripped up his like office chair, and, and the the foam's hanging you're right. out. He's actually right. It's, that was my other cat. Yes. You have angry cats. I don't. No, think, they're the sweetest. They're trying to claw themselves out of your fucking shithole. <laughs> all right, they don't even want to be around you. They're trying to jump out the freaking window, Fred. Fred, you loser! Come on, you pathetic <laughs> piece of monkey shit! So it's good. Put it together. See, it's good. He's, he's gonna he's gonna coach you into action, Fred. He's gonna get he's... through all that negativity. Look how look you smiling. I'm seeing yeah. you smile for the years. I love it. Yeah, I was saying so when he calls you monkey yeah. shit, it yeah. just be brought, brought a glee to your to your, to your, your face. I'm cutting to the core. I'm cutting to the quick. He's like a football coach. Yeah, get in there. Hit the showers. <laughs> Take an E. I uh I know I I, I did uh I did hire I know I need someone to help me buy clothes but seriously this is a nice shirt no no come on just go for some solids yeah there. yeah what is it like birds or there's oh, like come weird? on this is nice shirt I got it at that place at the Grove uh, but Tommy Bahamas <laughs> no uh, it looks like Tommy Bahamas there's a place Goodwill I actually <laughs> wore my best shirt not my best but um. So all right, the if Emily says solid boutique. colors. Yeah. It solid looks like colors. the Buddha boutique. I, I think right. I think you'd better with a solid color. Just, just I, I feel like, like Nick like Nolte, yeah. yeah, like a, like a button Maybe, down or something. Try something with simple. a zipper, so you can zip it over that big gawking Jew face. Oh <laughs> 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 so clearly, whoever d- he dates has got to be into ethnic humor. Exactly. <laughs> I I I just I get a I I, I go to the Gap or. Um, or just the uh, Old Navy and just buy a shirt to That's get out of there. That's not from either one of those places. Though. What? Because I'd be okay with Gap or Old Navy. That's so like J.C. Penney or something. What? Or no, the Grove. Know. The you Grove. Got it at the Grove. Where at the Grove? The Buddha Boutique. Oh no, I no, I got it at the Top Shop, Top Star Line, whatever it's called. Top That's shop. for like hipsters, though. Which okay, you are not. I was with my younger That's friends. For, yeah, it's kind of a hipster. So thing. is yeah. Gap and Old Navy shirts okay? If they're solid colors, you can Shouldn't pass for that. Should you just like go to Brooks Brothers or something? Keep it simple, really simple. Yeah. Yeah. Brooks Brothers, Brooks but that's Brothers. I'm just really simple. Dress your oh, age. I know, but it's his age. Yeah, Jake but I'm not going to dress like a, a principal, a 59 year old. Somebody said you shouldn't year-old. be wearing T-shirts after 55. But I there was a day I go to the Grove. That? I What's wear a T-shirt and a hat. A shirt and a hat. So I know I'm wearing a T-shirt. Don't stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> so T-shirts during the day. What's is that's that bad? No, we're T. I. I who All said? Right. Who are these people? You know what happened? No t-shirts? What happened was a woman used to live next to me who was a wardrobe consultant, and I said, "Hey, you know, you always shop at the Grove. Can I tag along with you and you help me buy clothes?" She said, "Sure." And then she she gave me an invoice. She she charged me. That's what stylists do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a couple calls. How about that? Okay. Yucko, are you willing to take calls? Somebody from Virginia about your career? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. Is, this would be good. Uh, uh, Jason, Jason, what's up? What's up, Yucko? Wait, Hold he's got to put his headphones on. Well, they I... barely fit over that dome of his. <laughs> Jason, all right. Somebody called him a conehead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Jason. You know, there, there. Um, a lot of people don't really care much for Yucko. They think he's a bad guy, but I tell you, this guy wishes me a happy birthday every year on Twitter. Who doesn't? Who thinks Yucko's a bad That's guy? That's because you're. I've only got five followers on there, probably. <laughs> 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 No, that's, that's, that's my account. And What's you're a, one of them, too. Jason, you have a question for Yako? <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah, um, you know, you you um, you um mailed me a copy of The Damn Show Volume 3, autographed it and everything for me. I was wondering if you had any plans of another one coming out. The Damn Show? Soon. Oh, yeah, that's a, the sketch comedy show I used to be. Uh-huh. Yeah. And? Um, Oh uh, yeah, yeah, lots of good shit on the horizon, and uh, just stay tuned, buddy. All right. All right. 
that was that's pretty clear. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to. Uh, I didn't want to plug anything, but now you made me. See, you uh, twisted my arm. All right, Bob. You, Bob, you had a question about uh, sort of online dating. Go ahead. No, actually, Drew, this is Bobo from California, but thank you, anyways. Bobo from California. <laughs> Steve from California, you mean? It. Steve. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I have a great question. Is uh, I was dating this girl on Tinder. We went out last week, and it turned out when I showed up, uh, her pictures were very misrepresentative, and she was probably like 75 Ooh. to 100 pounds heavier. They could say 75 yeah, yeah. years and old. She wants yeah. to know what. I don't want to go out with her again. Do I have to tell her the truth, or like, how, how would Emily versus how would Yucko handle that? Doesn't doesn't <laughs> Bob, Bob from, or Steve from California sound a little bit like Gonzo? It's a little bit of a Gonzo quality here, but okay, go ahead and uh, answer that question. Well, she was she was dishonest, right? Like did the she pictures take, were dishonest. She took a picture of her, like a face pic, and she was like squatting behind the couch or something. Like she, you didn't see how fat her ass was. What was going on? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Emily, yeah. Well, you, you know, no, this is yeah. This is the big thing. People are always like they misrepresent their photos. Guys yeah. do it too. Guys are yes. really bad at taking. Yeah. So photos. what do you do that? What do you? I just think looks... you got to say there wasn't a connection. I mean, if you feel like you like your pictures didn't represent you, you could think, say I, that. I, I think that's. But I don't go- think you need to. Right. I think you better not coffee. to ghost though and just say I didn't feel a connection. What's nice ghosting? meeting you. Ghosting is when you just disappear and you don't answer. You ghost. You're like that, and that's kind of a thing. That's a term right now. People do. They go out. They will have sex. They go. They just disappear. Like, I thought he was going to call, she was going to call, and you got ghosted. It seems like that would be what a lot of guys would do with social media. Yes, with, with it happens all dating. the time. But it it's also epidemic. seems like, a, like an awful thing to do if you're in the middle of just hanging out with somebody. Yeah, it's not a nice thing to do. Any, yeah. And I really think that it's, you know, just do, do the right thing. Just say, hey, it was, wasn't was a great time, or I, oh. I didn't feel a connection, bye. That's all you have to say to him. But when you say, yeah, it was great, I'd love to go out with you again, and then you don't hear from that guy, or that yeah. woman, and you're like, oh, I got ghosted. So, Fred, are you feeling better? I, I I am I am I mean this is everything you imagined it would be you, this is all of your creation so congratulations well yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do it even though I'm nervous and um I still have that crush that woman but I'll do this first no 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 don't do, don't do any crushes what's the crush no. does she know how long have you been crushing on her like restraining order yeah Come no on. I'm not creepy okay mm-hmm. oh no 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 you start trying to fix people you have crushes on that's what it makes oh no, no that woman you try to save women. Nah, not really. That one woman, I hadn't messed around in a while, and I just had to, you know, she made it available, even though she had black eyes. And um, Not from you. Right? No, no. Her, her son... Yeah, she fell down the stairs, right, Fred? <laughs> you creepy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I don't know what happened. I, um, you know, but it, it could happen where you go, you know, I, I'm I'm sort of attracted. Did you ever do things where you stare at their arm, go, that's nice? Or you, you try to, like, focus in and then it pops up? No. Um, what's and, it? And then, you, then you, then you hand, unhandcuff them from the radiator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know, up? Fred. I'm I, trying to talk yourself into people. You I know something? Know this, isn't the, this isn't the same thing. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is something I shouldn't talk uh, about on a date, but I remember when many, many years ago, the woman was on antidepressants. It was like, my God, and now I'm on them. So meaning things I would never think I would do or you meaning they were all You have all these acceptable. judgments around people. But, you're saying that, but I've loosened so many. Have your medicines been adjusted? Is that why you're happier now? No, I've loosened a lot of things because I didn't know about things you don't know. So I'm Yucko, you get about that? This. He's loosening things you don't know about things you don't know. Pretty clear. Uh, yeah, that's very, very freaking clear. <laughs> Do you, I, I had anxiety. I, I, I walked out of the Phantom Thread. Did you see the movie? No. Because I go, oh, I can't be this charming. He sits. He wipes their face when they eat. Daniel Day Lewis, and they love oh, him. Oh yeah, I want to see that. <sighs> I can't stand it. No, I, I, I'm. Uh, yeah, I know for most people. I'm. I could. You know. Yes. Just shut this guy up. But there's some I think that would like to be with me. Okay. We have a caller named Cecil. There, Cecil. Would you want to ask something of uh, Yako? Yes. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, I'd like to ask something to the angry cloud. Yeah. The cloud <laughs> who seems very upset. I would like to know: Is there anything that makes him happy inside, deep down in his heart, and not it- always angry and yelling at people? 
like nice Mr. Fred, like he's been doing on your show. And, and, and Cecil, and, thank you, Cecil. But, you know, I, both Fred and Yako have seemed a little bit less edgy than I'm familiar with both of them being. Both I, of them seem a little, they're, like they're good for each other. You know, really? Fred, Yako, Yako is a little abusive and Fred maybe laughs Maybe they can find happiness the together. I love maybe, it. Maybe this is really. It's the, like the, his mom or it's, something. It's, it's it tough like love. It's like his mom. With a nose, but go a big ahead, Yoko. Nose. Answer Cecil's question. Uh, Cecil, what makes me happy is when people blow their nose and they don't sound all nasal anymore. Uh, that that's step one. And uh, yeah, that, not much makes me happy anymore. All right, I'm I'm dealing with some some shit too. Okay, and uh, but uh, yeah, okay, I just buddy. I just uh, you know I just try not to okay. fill up the bathtub and uh, and slip well, my wrist every may, night. May, maybe sometimes just think about the beautiful sunshine and look around you and find happiness within yourself. I'll do that, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Get this crazy bastard off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We're going to wrap things up here. Uh, Yucko, where can we find you? Uh, just uh, Twitter, at Yucko the Clown. Y-U-C-K-O? Yeah. At Yucko. There's, there's a lot of action. I mean, let me see if there's any, any Twitter stuff, because there was a lot of uh, a lot of excitement that Yucko was here. And, uh, we got, uh... My phone died, but... <laughs> from all the stuff, but How are you gonna I'll, I'll try to figure out four photos. So you, you you think do Tinder before? No, no, Bumble before Tinder, Emily. Do I think Bumble? Yeah, try them both. But you know what, Bumble, because then t- Tinder can be overwhelming. I think, and I think Bumble, the woman has to make the move. Okay, we'll talk about it. I'll help okay. you with it. But it doesn't they're, they're, they work exactly the same? I just think you have to commit to one and do it. And how long all right, the profile? And she's going to do it's it way for too you. long. We're going to edit she's that down. Do okay, okay. And she's going to yeah. put you on Bumble. And then if you screw up, I'm going to put Yucko on it. Yeah. No, he he won't talk about. It, but he met his girlfriend on Tinder, right? <laughs> yeah. Can we put her That's on the it. on the on the horn here? She doesn't want to talk. Don't want to talk. She can't. Doesn't want to talk. She's- but you know, well, tell well, me, was it, it, sometimes Wait, it works. Yeah. Was, it, was right? it love at first sight? Yeah. You look one look at the clown. You thought that's for me? No, it, she. It was. It was love at first sight. He's quite charming. Oh shucks. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> now let me. I wonder if this is true. I, I from people I've talked to online, it seems either they find someone right away or they're chronic um, internet lookers. Because I, I've met a few people like, like you only went on one. You're thing already and you you're went you're yeah. already predicting failure, Fred. Yeah. Either way, it's going to be a success. That's the spirit. Whether you exactly. find somebody immediately or end up just meeting lots of people and hanging out at a farmers market and drinking Bob's coffee with them, right. it's all going to be good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're all right. Be fine. I'm going right. to work on this. We support you. I'm going to work on this fucker. We'll get you there. That's what I'm. That's the attitude. That's what I'm Come looking on. for. <laughs> Got to kiss a lot of toads, Fred. All right, I'm gonna try. Don't okay. give him any ideas, Miss <laughs> Producer. I do. Lo- I do love he, my cat. He though. got kicked out of PetSmart doing that. Shit. <laughs> and then he was looking for the Sonoran toad that gave the hallucinogenic high. <laughs> right, right. I know he's licking its eyeballs and squeezing yeah. on it. So, anything, Miss Producer, you'd like to add to this uh, this fine affair? I'm just very proud of Yucko's PC interview. Today. I think he held back too much. Oh, oh. come on! <laughs> she, she got him nervous. <laughs> Well, it's Facebook. Fred loves is, the abuse. This is Facebook. I mean, the pre- no, they get well, a little. Di- oh, little I think it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. But Yucko I think- was very good. He behaved himself. It's for well, you, Fred. This was for you, Fred. No, right. Again, yeah. no. In all seriousness, um, you have to insult everybody in the room at least once. Before I, you leave. I really oh, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> all right. I really appreciate him doing this. I mean, I do too. it's a real nice favor. And no, I'm a big I fan mean, of Yucko. I've been a yeah. fan for and Stern forever. Oh, give, a, give a give a round robin. At least the four yeah. the four of us that are here, five of us that. Uh, uh, I guess a little bit of insult for each of us. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Dr. Drew. Yes, sir. I, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't know uh, DeVry had a medical school. There you go. <laughs> and l- look at you. Oh, man, you're hot. I'd eat the corn out of your mother's shit. <laughs> <laughs> and look at you, you skinny broad. Hey, I think I locked my keys in my car. I'm going to go use it for a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> eat a sandwich. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, Yako. I feel better now. I appreciate everyone. Emily, everyone. All right, Fred. It's good to see you, man. Uh, It's it's been fun. We've been goofing around. uh, Awesome. Thank you for organizing this, Fred, and bringing Yako in and being part of this. And we did this. Maybe Pearl will even like this one. Is your mom? Maybe she'll even enjoy this. Yeah. this a little, She's going to get a report. A little lighter tone. So um, yes, except for a, the antidepressants and the. Well, you uh, didn't say you didn't tell me what you're taking now. What are you on? Lexapro. Same one. Did you increase the dose? My doctor did. Good. This is. <laughs> I like good. that. We like I like the doctor that. does it. Could I tell yourself. one last short funny story? It's not that long. So I went through a little thing when my my eighteen year old cat died, which he thinks is funny. I went through a, <laughs> <laughs> a little depression and work dried up. So I went to my doctor, 
And I said, you know, uh, I feel it's all over. I'm not working in showbiz like I used to be. I know it's the depression talking. He goes, hey, if I couldn't be a doctor anymore, I'd be depressed. It is what you are. See. So it's kind of funny how right. I was I was being the rational one saying it's a depression and talk. But he, he was goes, saying sometimes a cigar is just a good smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, who wouldn't be depressed if they were in your shoes, Fred? <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Thank you for being part of this tonight, and uh, we'll see you next time. Remember, you can find all these podcasts at drdrew.com. The Dr. Drew podcast, the This Life podcast, and the Adam and Drew podcast, which is available five days a week. Find them all on iTunes and rate us five stars. Subscribe and get it first. And if you're really happy, click on the Amazon banner at drdrew.com to help support the show. We'll thank you for it. If you join the email list via drdrew.com slash contact, we'll send you a weekly infusion newsletter with Dr. Drew's News. We're so grateful when you get in touch. We read all your emails and we'll bring you the subject matter you want to hear about. You live. Welcome to the greatest health and fitness podcast in the world. Not even open for debate. The only podcast that isn't trying to push supplements on you or get you injured. Just the pursuit of health and fitness as a lifestyle. Dr. Drew Pinsky here, board certified physician. Now we got to establish ourselves. Yeah, the greatest. We, we're declaring it. Today. No, it's it's been well it's been established. Declared. Yeah, uh, Mike Catherwood has been on my ass for what's today? About four years to do this yeah. podcast, and now here we are. We're well, Sly Stallone just walked in. Arnold's working out. The fucking meeting, my, meeting of the minds is going to happen. Yeah. And they do the, the, the buff guy handshake. Yes. They're like, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is everything I ever dreamed of. We have at Soul Patrol Pod on Twitter. Nice. Drew, we got our own Twitter. We go. got our own Twitter feed now. Wow. Oh. At Swole Patrol Podcast on Facebook. Cool. Join the Swole Patrol? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Honestly, thank you. 